Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make a transparent gradient in Photoshop, Mom. So make a new document, or you can do it on an existing document if you want to do it on something you already got. Um, I'm going to kill the background layer, so make the background layer editable and just clear it out, just so that I have a transparent background to start off with. I think you know how to do that. Um, okay, so come over here. And you probably have the paint bucket tool on your toolbar. And if you have a different version of Photoshop, I think it's the same, but it'll be the paint bucket tool by default. Click and hold on it and, and turn into the gradient tool. Now the gradient tool defaults to this one up here, which is like your foreground and your background color, but as a gradient. If you click on the drop down menu here, select the first one, or the second one rather, which goes from foreground color to transparent. So you select that. And now the way that the gradient tool works is that you click and drag and that's how the gradient gets made. So where you start your mouse cursor is where it's solid and where you finish it is where it's um, opposite. So like the direction of the mouse cursor is the actual part of the gradient itself. Also, if you hold shift, you can do it in cardinal directions. So like up or down or left or right. And yeah, so like if you do an image of some stuff, let's try to get a meaningful amount of color on here. I just made a new layer of the gradient itself, and then you can put a gradient over the top. This is like sort of uh, how you can make a vignette. Like if you use black, you can vignette an image by coming in from the sides with the gradient like this. And the gradients will stack on top of each other too. Anyway, I hope that's helpful. But yeah, so it's under the paint bucket tool. Um, it's a click and drag to do a gradient. And you gotta change the little drop down menu up the top up here. If you click on it, then you can do different ones and you can actually do custom ones as well. But it has a default foreground, a preset one, which is foreground, transparent, um, foreground color to transparent. So that I think is what you probably want. All right, yeah.